As Texas fights for federal assistance and ponders dipping into the rainy day fund, we're looking into a third option that could help respond and recover from these wildfires. It's called the Disaster Contingency Fund, millions of dollars available almost immediately. The governor's office can give out that money to local governments to remove debris for fuel, even to pay for emergency responders. That way, they do not have to cover the costs themselves, waiting on other funding that could be months or even years away. KXA and political reporter Josh Hinkle checked into this fund to find out if it's actually the wildfire relief that we need. That's right, and it's been around throughout Governor Rick Perry's tenure, but in recent sessions, there's been an argument over how much money the disaster contingency fund should have, especially now with a big budget shortfall in the state. Throughout some of our biggest disasters, Hurricane Rita, the 2006 wildfires, the 2007 summer floods, well, lawmakers put almost nothing during that time into the fund, at most $15 million. Then Hurricane Ike hit Texas hard in 2008, and state lawmakers to de decided to invest a little bit more, $73 million the first session after the storm, and now in the midst of our latest wildfires, $49 million is available. It's about as much as what Governor Rick Perry called for years ago, a $50 million fund to help Texans with disaster relief, but not nearly as much as what a legislative committee suggested after looking into the de devastation caused by Hurricane Ike, they wanted $250 million. A number that would be a big help right now as the wildfires this season have racked up more than $60 million in cost for the state so far. Now, Perry's office says it will have to evaluate everything first before making any decisions about disaster funding, but it's likely lawmakers will just have to pay for what's happening now in the next legislative session in 2013. That's a long wait for a lot of people already struggling. In the studio, Josh Inkle, KXAN News. Thanks, Josh. The Austin City Limits Music Festival starts Friday, and if you're heading over to Zilker, you should be ready for the heat that will hit you. KXAN's Reagan Hackleman joins us live from outside the festival now to let us know how to prepare and what the festival organizers are doing to help. Reagan. Well, Leslie, they're doing a lot. We just talked to an EMS commander out here, and he told us that if you're coming to the festival, the very first thing you should start doing right now is drinking more of this. This is, of course, water. And thankfully, it doesn't look like we're going to hit that 100, that dreaded 100-degree mark during the festival, but it is still going to be hot out here. We expect temperatures to hover in the mid-90s. Now, ACL Fest organizers are taking some extra precautions this year when it comes to the heat. They're allowing people to bring two unopened, one liter bottles of water inside. You can also bring with you an empty water bladder inside the festival. They have quite a few stations to fill those bladders up for free. They've also added extra tent space and misters this year, and you'll see more EMS in the festival this year. Their advice to everyone, drink plenty of water starting right now. They just need to drink lots of water before the, the days leading up to the event. And then when they're out here, take the opportunity between the concerts to go visit the mist stations they've set up and cool off and get in the shade and, and find a good spot in the shade maybe to enjoy all the music. Now, my advice, I've been out here for about six years either covering this festival or going to it, is to buy one of these. They're about 15 bucks. It's called a frog tog. You get it wet, you put it around your neck, and the coolness lasts for hours. You can also take a dip in Barton Springs Pool. It'll be open during the entire festival, and it'll only cost you three bucks to get in. And real quick, the hottest ACL we've ever had, Sunday back in 2005, it was 107 degrees. So thankfully, it won't be that hot. Guys, back to y'all.